welcome to our presentation on how to do a journal club. You may or may not have had experience doing a journal club, but we hope that you will learn something from this presentation. This will be presented by PharmD candidates Gloria Ha and Hector Crespo. Special thanks to Dr. Timothy Gauthier for giving us this opportunity to present to you today. The objectives of this tutorial are to define a journal club, to describe the importance and benefit of a JC, to provide practical guidance regarding article selection, preparation, presentation, and feedback. Also, to identify additional resources. First, what is a journal club? A journal club is an educational meeting in which a group of individuals discuss current articles, providing a forum for a collective effort to keep up with the literature. The benefits of a journal club is to stay abreast of the literature, and according to the New Practitioners Forum, six million medical articles are published each year. Reading two articles per day for a year would leave you 82 centuries behind at the end of one year. In other words, you would not be able to read every single article published, even if you commit to do so. Another benefit of a journal club is application of research to practice. Journal clubs can be tailored to any specific clinical needs, and the potential goals are listed here. Some are similar to the concepts from the previous slide, but the ones that stand out to us are highlighted here. The first potential goal is to build a career knowledge base that you can use in your future. Also, to teach clinical literature appraisal skills, to serve as a springboard for research ideas, to provide a vehicle for honing teaching skills, and also to provide a social forum outside of the working environment. Here's our presentation outline. First, we will discuss the article selection, preparation, then the article presentation itself, then we will wrap up with the reflection and feedback. Let's start with the article selection. Keep in mind, that different preceptors will have different expectations. Such as one preceptor may prefer an article published within the last 12 months and another preceptor will prefer a randomized controlled trial article. Asking questions early on and throughout will provide you with direction and more confidence. Identify a reputable source. Remember that the value of a journal club rests on the article selection. Cochrane Library PodMed and Medline are a few examples of reputable sources among others. So that means you definitely want to stay away from resources such as Wikipedia. It is also important to identify the type of article desired. A hierarchy of scientific strength does exist and it is possible a good idea and it is possibly a good idea to select evidence of greatest strength whenever possible. Here is the hierarchy study design strength. Please note that the selection of a non-randomized control clinical trial article does not mean it is invalid and it depends on the topic of interest. Remember that your preceptor may have his or her own preferences so keep that in mind. So here's an example on how to select an article. On the left side, you will see the process when selecting an article for introducing a new topic. The selection of classical articles containing basic and fundamental knowledge is recommended. On the other hand, if your interest is to provide recent and relevant updates on clinical practice, you will follow the pathway on the right side of the slide. Although challenging yourself is encouraged, be aware of your own limitations and be careful to select an article that matches your limitations. Moving on with the preparation step. There are two general formats of journal clubs, one being more formal and the other being informal. A formal presentation is more structured or a presentation whereas an informal presentation will simply highlight key points of an article. Either way, 
it is important to provide an electronic or hard copy of the article several days in advance. For a formal presentation, make sure to bring copies of the presentation and preferably print it in a double-sided format. For an informal presentation, you can prepare a short handout, no more than one to two pages, double-sided, but it is not necessary. Lastly, the difference between a formal and an informal presentation is the setting. Formal presentations can be held in an auditorium or a conference room. Whereas an informal presentation can occur at a desk or round table with an atmosphere of open discussion and you may even be allowed to bring your lunch. Continuing with the preparation, it is highly recommended that you read the article in full. Make sure to perform your due diligence by looking, at, looking up any unfamiliar words, looking at the epidemiology, and any other relevant information. You can even consider providing a brief supplementary information from the CDC, FDA, etc. Structured reading is potentially preferred as it will save time, it will guide you in what to identify, focus on relevant aspects, and even provide better results. Take note that article assessment tools have different characteristics. Choose the right tool. Use the available resources to you. We have a few examples. The first is the pharmacist letter table. The next is a template created by a student. The next is actually pulled from a journal club article from AJHP, and there are several other tools out there available. Of course, remember to practice, practice, and practice. Oh, and one more thing, practice. Now, these are some great questions to ask yourself when critiquing the article. Please take your time to refer back to these few slides at your own leisure. Now, we will discuss the article presentation. First of all, do not assume everyone read the article. Present relevant results, be familiar with statistics, be mindful of time constraints, and remember that your audience may have a full schedule so be considerate of their time. And lastly, provide take-home points. Here are some examples of take-home points. These are very general, but the point is that it allows the audience to better understand and the main message of the article presented. During the presentation, use professional language and dress. Adhere to basic public speaking rules, such as speaking audibly, utilizing appropriate gestures, making eye contact, practice your pronunciations before the presentation. Actually, there are online tools to assist in, pron in pronunciation. And find out if you can use flashcards during the presentation. You should expect discussion and anticipate and prepare for questions. If you do not know the answer for a question, ensure that you will find out the answer and make sure to follow through. Go above and beyond your preceptor's expectations. Now wrapping up with the reflection and feedback. Now this is not something that we found in the literature, but it's more from our experience and, and our opinion. We suggest to ask for feedback if it's not provided, take note and apply it for the future. Remember that you're a trainee and that you should seize every potential learning opportunity. And of course, Pharmacy is a career that involves lifelong learning, so be open to continual development. Now let's have a quick recap. Journal clubs provide an avenue to stay updated. You should know your preceptor's expectations. Select an appropriate article. Read and systematically analyze that article. Bring it back to the practice site whenever possible. Practice, practice, practice. And practice. Professionally obtain feedback. Now, our main take-home points for this tutorial is you need to be resourceful. You need to be prepared. Remember that the goals of a journal club may vary among sites and also that the ultimate journal club endpoint is to increase knowledge and to improve clinical practice. You will be a pharmacist in no time. 
benefit yourself, you will get out what you put in. Thank you for tuning in, and we hope this was beneficial for you. Have, Have fun. fun.